actually yeah. talked before, um, when you were back with the cars, you had some, some beautiful red gloves, but now you maybe even have better colors. Yeah, so you know how to change it up got. a little bit. What do, so. what, do you, uh, what do you got this year? What are you rocking? Yeah, so this is, this is going to be my gamer this year. It got a little dirty last night, which I'm not happy about, but oh you no. Know, we went with a little bit of Whoa. suede this year. Whoa. I got the Hawaiian Go, a little saying that me and my boys back at home kind of came up with after what I won my it? first Go Glove. Cool, cool. So, you know, just kind of doing the suede back. Navy blue insert. Got my little logo here, but that's starting to fade a little bit. I like that though. It has like a like a titanium look to yeah. it. Like, it yeah, kinda, that's a good thing. Kind of looks cool. Yeah, it means you're actually doing some work out there. So I'll that's take true. It. I'll take so, it. So what's the what's the model on it? So my model on this is the 314 Pro 31. Yeah, it's like a dual welt. It's actually. Yep. Uh, I know Brandon Phillips rocked the this like dual welt style. Yeah, yeah, I like the dual welt. Um, Went with the, I've been doing the V for about four years now. Yeah. You know, like I think Manny Machado was the first one to kind of bring it out, and I saw it and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, man. I was always an iWeb guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So change it up, and you know, I really love it ever since, so I've been sticking with it. Uh, 11 and a half. I like a little bigger of a glove. Uh huh. You know, just something a little more comfortable, and when you're, when you're, Playing with guys who are hitting the ball 110, 115 miles an hour, you kind of want a little more <laughs> leather to protect you. So, you know, yeah, this is going to be gamer this year. And uh, I got my uh, backup one just in case for this year. So this is this is just in case something happens to that glove. You know, it's, it's kind of broken in already. I it's love it, there. man. I love it. I love that so, style. I try to keep up with, so with the, the two colors, you know. Yeah, that's so sick. I love the, the highlighter uh, kind of look to it. Yeah, I went a little different with that one. Yeah, well, Obviously, you killed it. With the gold, you know, you had to had to have that showing of first. Of course, but. of course, you got to have the gold. And you and it's it's on the oh, it's not. So you don't have this. You got your number on uh, on that in because you can have a, the gold label yeah. here too. Yeah. But yeah, you kept your number on there. Yeah, I was like, you know what? If you can't tell from this, then <laughs> it is what it is. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what else you got? What yeah. else you want to show off? Well, I mean, you always you know, got great with, cleats. Yeah, with everything going down, it kind of slowed down my cleat game but you know these mm -hmm. are these are basically everything from last year these were the playoff cleats i made last year fire uh, you know we didn't get a chance to use them much so they're still in pretty good shape uh i, w I brought my drips back you know all the drips that i Ooh. wore last year got the highlight yellow do you have like a particular time you're gonna rock those or like well yeah i probably start rocking at the beginning of the season you know i mean they're still a little used but they're, they're those, cool for now those until are the, my new ones come in those but, are the vapors. Yeah, these are the vapors, and these were last year's model. I just I had the drip sleeve, you know, so I kind of went with the whole drip with the Milwaukee Brewers theme. You know, just wanted to kind of have the beer look to it. So sick. Uh, just try to stick with that theme this year, and then next this year is gonna be a little different though. I'm, I'm I got something like this starting this oh, year. Wow. You know, a little Hawaiian tribal. Ah. So these these came out last year towards the end of the season, and you know wasn't able to use them much to go deep into the playoffs. So. Figure I keep them for spring training and, and have something to rock and you know stay fresh out there a little bit. Yeah, you always do. Got to, got to. What else? Uh, what else you got? You, you got uh, bats? Oh, it looks like you got some axe bats in there. Yeah, so I'm a big axe bat guy. Are you? Yeah, been been swinging it since probably two years now. So, Why? Um, what honestly, about it? You like? It kind of. I, I like the axe handle, you know, because it kind of. I think during the swing it tells me. You know whether or not having a good swing or not. I feel like with, with the handle, it, it, you can feel, you know, whether your bottom hand is rolling or whether your bottom hand is actually staying through the strike zone. Um, and for me, it's just I like the natural feel of what the axe does. You know, it kind of you have like I tell everybody, it's kind of like my trigger. You know, it kind of gives you that trigger feel to, to be able to pull the barrel through the zone and, and really, you know, throw the barrel when you want to and, and hold it back when you don't. So yeah, I've been using it, I've been liking it, and you know, last year was a career year for me offensively. So. You know, you might as well stick to what works. Oh yeah. So what's the? What, it's, oh, it's your own, your own, my own model. model. Yep. It's the KW13. So this is actually a model that I used my first year in the big leagues, and I uh, kind of lost it for a while. You know, and I was at my in-laws' house, and I remember giving my father-in-law one of these to kind of just have to lay in his man cave. And so <laughs> I picked it up one day. I was like, man, I forgot about this bat. So I sent it to Chandler. They sent this back and you know i've been using it the past couple of years now what about chandler you like they got good wood huh i love chandler so i've, I've been with chandler since they were what were they called art rx sports i mm, think is what their name was way back way back way man. back way back so i've been with them for a long time man and it's been it's been a good thing i mean obviously they kind of hit a little scuffle about two years back and i lost i was using old hick for a little while but i always loved chandler and 
yeah. as soon as they came back, I had to go back with yeah, them. Yeah, you can't, uh, you know, once, once you find what works, there's exactly. always that soft spot. Exactly. You always go back to the old girl, so. Yeah, so we got that. Um, you know, you got to have your, your headband drip. You know, these are my custom Colton Wong junk bands. Sick. I got this. I got, wait, I got show that again because I got it a little overexposed. Oh, gotcha. So it's got my logo in the middle. And then they do that for you. Or they yeah. sell that too? So they're starting to sell it now. That's yeah. awesome. And it's got, this is, we call it the Miley Lay. Uh, in Hawaii, tradition is you always give the Miley Lay to the men, you know, as like a celebratory thing. And so it kind of represents just, you know, celebrating, you know, just you being you, man, being a man, being proud of who you are. And, you know, that's just something that I try to represent, so. And it even has your signature on it. Oh, yeah, it's got the whole thing, so it's pretty cool, man. You know, as a kid, you obviously, you want these kind of things, you know, the customization things, you yeah. know, so, so for me, I've only been that, and I love the fact that I get to do it now. Junkbands.com, is that Junkbands.com, yep. I got my, I got my Be Driven sleeves down here. <coughs> you so got these, these got my KW logos on you it. got it all, man. And then this one has the, uh, the, the, the gold foil on it. Sick. I rocked this one for uh, Cinco de Mayo the other day. It was pretty cool, man. It was, <laughs> it was funny to kind of just have that, but you know that's that's my whole thing. I like to have sleeves for different occasions. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna you know step it up a little more too this year, so I'm excited. I'm trying to match the shoes to the sleeves to the headband, so I'm trying to take that man. that next level swag. You got yeah, you you are on the next level <laughs> with all that. So what about on the on your wrist there? Yeah. So these are uh, so I had this kid. Um, he's had, he has Down syndrome, and I saw him at the game the other day, and he wanted me to wear this band, so I was like, absolutely, man. So, so sick. You know, I threw that on. I, I got my own little bands, too. It's a nice band, dude. It matches yeah. the uni. So it's got my logo on it as well, you wow. know, if you can see it. And then a little tribal on the side to represent me in Hawaii. But Are yeah, they I, are those available, they too? They are. Really? Yeah, Where? Are. So Where these are, are on um, Deuce Bands. So deuce <clears throat> yes. Bands. These deuce are Deuce Bands. So it's pretty cool, man. I like the super skinny that they came out with. Um, and then I, I kind of do like the three to represent different colors. So I had a St. Louis when I was there. When I came to Milwaukee, I just wanted to do the Milwaukee colors. And every year I try to do just something different, but to also represent the city that I'm playing for. Those are cool. So I like those a lot. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I would it. rock those for sure. Um, anything else that, that I, uh, I missed? Um, uh, I have a custom, I have some custom pro hitters actually. Shit. And then here's uh, my pro hitter. It's pretty so cool because they actually came up what with. What is uh, the name of it actually? Because I don't think it's called pro hitter. I don't. Yeah, it's it called. Uh, here it is. <coughs> it's called thumb pro. Thumb pro. Thumb pro. What's it? What's the deal with that thing? It looks yeah, weird. So, I mean, everybody has their own little thumb protections, you know, and and yeah. I think the old school one. Um, was the pro hitter yeah to be honest and yeah. it was cool man i like i used that my whole career and then i kind of found this and i like this because uh it snugs into your thumb mm -hmm. you know where the other one would kind of just it would kind of sit like this you know so it would just kind of free yeah. to move which was cool but i like the ability to not need to worry you know especially when you're hitting yeah you know you don't want to be worrying about the thumb guard or or any of that kind of stuff you just want to kind of focus on that bat yeah in 99 you know, exactly. to seem yeah. yeah you kind of want to focus you on that want to lock in, you know so it's cool because they made these for me and then i put my son's name in the middle cash it's kind of it's kind of so not sick, there dude. yet but you know they it's even let cool. you customize it yeah man so you I'm, I'm pumped about it you got some attention to detail hey that's that's my thing man you know some people talk about it but i believe in it you know let's go play good man that's heck yeah <laughs> so that that thumb thing yeah what's like the point for it like what are you trying to do with yeah. that thing and why why um, do you wear it at all yeah just to have some kind of protection on your thumb you know the biggest thing in the big leagues is you know you're gonna get jammed that's just part of it you know yeah. you're gonna you're gonna get blown up and um you know to have some kind of protection to be able to drive through those balls you know yeah they say it every time you know the best hitters in the league get jammed uh it's on purpose you know being able to stay through a baseball and not roll over not pull off mm. Uh, so that's that's something to help you, you know, have the confidence to continue to go through the baseball, even though you know it's going to hurt. Uh, hopefully, you. it doesn't hurt as bad. I got you. All right, so I got. If you got time for two fan questions, absolutely. One I've been asking everybody. I think it's a great question. Sammy Bammy one two nine asked, "What's your favorite snack?" Ooh, my I feel favorite. Like my favorite snack would have to be a peanut butter banana honey sandwich. It's kind of my go-to. I'm hungry, but. You know, not trying to, you know, have a too, too big of a meal. It's always the go-to is the peanut butter, uh, banana, honey. We'll put together. Sounds like all the food groups in Oof. there. I mean, you're getting everything right there. You know, you're getting, 
good enough meal to keep you full, but you know, not over the top. So yeah. All right. And the last question is from Colton, and Colton asked if you could have one item in this locker room that isn't yours, what would it be? Oh, in this locker room, man, it's a tough one. I'm gonna have to probably go with either Yelich or Kutch's cleat game. I mean, they're they're coming in hot right now, so. I'm so I'm so behind on the cleat game. I'm still working on it. You know, the lockout kind of helped me out a little bit, but <laughs> those guys, if I had to go and choose, it's probably one of, one of one of their shoes. I would say they got some swag. That's fair. Thanks, Colton. Hey, absolutely. Man. Always, Thank man. you. Really appreciate I appreciate it. it.